got, so we still have time. Giving people some time to log in and get ready. Hope everybody's holding out well during these trying times. But, see you in one. Well, you'll see me in one. <laughs> Just follow along. You'll see me in action at 1 p.m. And once you log in, let yourself be known. Please let yourself be known.
And I'll show a few seated variations too. All fitness levels. Start it soon. Again, make sure you have your water ready. All right, here we go. One and die, right? So, first warm up we're going to do, we're gonna put our hands under our chin. So everybody at home, wherever you're at, your hands are under your chin right now. Your feet starting close, look forward, and you're going to step side to side. So step out, each time you step out, exhale. Just like how I'm doing. So every time you breathe out, just blow out and exhale. And keep going. Keep those toes tapping, that's it. So now it gets real interesting, right? And again, if you want to remain seated, you can be in your chair doing this as well. So you can remain in your chair, just stepping out side to side. Let's go a little bit faster, let's go a little faster. A little faster than we were before. We don't want to go as fast as we can yet, key word yet, because we're going to go as fast as we can as well. All right, so keep stepping, keep stepping. All right, three, three, two, two. Let's go as fast as we can, one, one, and shuffle out, bring it back in. Keep going, keep going, staying low, loosen up your hips. We're doing dynamic stretches now. That's the purpose of these exercises we're doing. We're getting ourselves work ready, all right? Getting our muscle temperature elevated, keeping our blood flow going and moving. Three, three, two, two, one, one. All right, shake that off, shake that off. Now we're gonna do something called frog legs, okay? So frog legs look like this. It's gonna work on that balance as well. And you can feel free to use your chair if you need to. So if you wanna use your chair for this, feel free. The objective of it is to stand up tall and keep your balance when you lift and roll your foot. Lift and roll, all right? But that chair is there just in case you have a little tilt. When you lift, you can roll back just like that, okay? And roll, and keep going. Keep going, keep moving, keep moving. Just lift and roll forward. Lift and roll forward, that's it. Lift and roll. And if you have space, feel free to move while you roll. Yeah, those nice solid moon man walks. Keep going, there you go. But you can move right in place. There we go, good, good, good. Two, two, one, one. All right, shake those legs off. Now we're gonna go ahead and look forward and we're going to get a soldier walk in, all right? And with those, we're having our arms out straight. I'll show you from a side profile. Lift up one leg at a time, okay? So exhale, each time you lift your leg up, one side at a time. And go as high as you can. It can be all the way up here, or it can be a lower level. Do what you can, that's what it's about, doing what you can, all right? So keep lifting that leg up. There you go. Two, two. One, one, all right. Let's put our elbows in there. Let's get some back kicks in. The back kicks look like this. Steady shuffle, one at a time, or you can go nice and briskly like that, depending on what you can do. So flick your heels back, same way I am, one side at a time. Exhale, each time you flick your heel back, so blow out, just like I'm doing. All right, again, it can look like this, or it can look like this. Do what you can, all right? Keep going, three, three, two, Two, one, one. All right, shake the legs off. Now we're gonna go ahead and do what we call pendulum swings, all right? And if it's anybody who wants to sit down the whole time, let it be known in the comments. Because right now I'm doing everything standing, low impact and the more advanced variation, but if it's anybody that wants to remain seated the whole time, let yourself be known and leave a comment. Otherwise, I'm going to continue standing up. All right, because my group there, they like to stand the whole time, so, you know, I'm just going off what the group goes with. All right. So we're looking straight ahead, and we're swinging back and forth. Swing back and forth. Good. So now we're looking forward. And it's a pendulum swing. So hold on to your chair. And we're going to do the other side soon, all right? So just swing back and forth. All levels. Get everybody involved. So if you're home with the kids, grandkids, whatever the case is, get everybody involved right now. If you haven't done so already. All right, three, two, one. Now we're going to change up to the other side, okay? So we're still looking forward, and swing. Back and forth, that's it. Keep doing what you're doing, keep going back and forth. 
There you go. And it's now rep based, it's time based. We have a good 10 seconds left. And I'll show you another variation of the swings that we have. Keep going, keep doing what you're doing. There you go. Good. And okay. Now we're looking straight ahead. Our hands are right here on the chair, right? And now we're going side to side, one foot in front of the other, just like that. Side to side. Here we go. And whichever leg you start with is fine. Just know you're doing the opposite leg next. So keep going and keep moving the way you're moving. And after this, we'll get started officially. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and switch legs. Going side to side. Here you go. And just keep going side to side, side to side. Perfect. In and out, in and out. Six seconds left. Here you go. Two. And okay, one more. Let's get some water. Let's get some water. Let me see how many people we have online right now. Let's see where we're at. Okay. Nice, nice. Again, feel free to let yourself be known. Let me know how the signal's looking. Let me know how it's sounding. You know, any comments you want to leave, feel free to leave them. I encourage you to leave them. So that way we're all intact with what's going on. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and go to our next phase, which is the exercise version of the warm-up. We just did our dynamic stretches, again, to elevate our blood, you know, our blood, temp our body temperature, get our blood flow going, get our muscles nice and oxygenated. But now we're gonna go ahead and look forward, and we're gonna go ahead and get a jump real good, okay? So roll your wrists, loosen, loosen those wrists up. You're definitely gonna make use of So We're rolling our wrists forward, yeah? And just keep going, keep moving, keep moving. Roll those wrists forward as you tap one foot at a time. You can also go at this pace too, for those at home. If you don't want to add that bouncing motion, that's fine. Do what you're comfortable with. It's a matter of doing what you can, okay? So do exactly what you're comfortable with. All right, now we're looking straight, and just keep moving. So you don't need your toes like this, be you're flat-footed and rolling the same way. So do what you can. Get a nice, good breathing pattern in. Every time you breathe out, just exhale and blow out. There you go. Good, and keep going. Whether you're like this or like this. All right, so now we can drop the arms down a little bit. Shake the arms off a little, and we're gonna go ahead and get some arm swings in. So swing side to side, okay? So you're swinging side to side and kicking your foot back. The more advanced version of this, we'll be jumping side to side. And again, it's about doing what you can, okay? So just keep moving. Good, keep that heart rate up. Good, get that core nice and engaged by keeping your stomach tight when you move. Whether you're jumping like this or swinging like this, keep your stomach tight and breathe. Exhale, each time you swing. And keep going, keep going. Five, five. Four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. All right. These exercises are great for toning the entire body. In case you're wondering why we're moving, how we're moving. We're getting our abs involved, getting that heart rate up, and getting an overall good balanced exercise regimen in. Okay, so we're looking forward now. We're going to go ahead and twist and press side to side. Okay, so press side to side. And we're going to keep going. This is metabolic training, so it's retraining your metabolism. So that way you burn calories more effectively and more efficiently. So it's going to be a lot of back-to-back -back movement. So feel free to take a rest whenever you want to take a rest. I'm also going to queue for a few rests, but we're moving 80% of the time, as you can see. You'll find that out. But it's manageable and doable. So if you're a beginner, you'll be pressing like this. If you're more advanced, you press more vigorously and sit more low. Either way, we're getting that movement off. Good. Keep going. Five, five, four, four, three. Three, two, two, one, one. Get a good torso twist in. Anybody who follows any of my programs knows I'm a huge fan of these. You get your core nice and loose, gets that lower back nice and loose, alleviates that tension. It's great for your hips as well. Three, three, we're doing high knees next. Two, two, one, one. Look straight forward and every time you pick your knee up, exhale, just like that. And look, feel free to add movement and bounce off your toes more vigorously if you can. Otherwise, you remain flat-footed and you press. You press as you drive that knee up. And that's when you get your stomach nice and engaged. So every time you breathe out, blow out. Just like this. Here we go. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. All right. Let's get a sip of water in. We're moving good. We're moving good. Nice, solid sit. Let's 
see what we're at with the count. Cool. All right. So, get a good sip, man. Quick sip. Don't need to go up and guzzle. You know, you don't want to cramp up while you're working out. Nice, good sip. Just be hydrated. Keep those muscles hydrated. Keep your body feeling good. Next exercise. Again, the key is to do what you can, okay? So do what you can with this. But I'm going to show two variations. And this is going to include the chair. It's level one and level two. Level one is going to mimic burpees, okay? This is what you're going to do. You're going to go knee, knee, then reach up and sit right back down. Knee, knee, reach up and sit right back down. So you're going with that solid motion. That's going to engage your core and your arms, your shoulders, total body, fat burn right here, and press up. That's level one. And while I'm giving these instructions, feel free to jog in place and move in place. Level two, the burpees look like this. You're going to the ground, you're going out, in, and reaching up when you're jumping up at the top. It's up to you, so it looks like this. Out, in, jump up and reach up, all right? So do whichever one you can. I'm going to do the first half with level one, since most of us are like getting a swing of things and trying to find a fitness regimen. The more advanced you can do burpees from the jump, if you're able to. So anybody who's staff or anybody who's advanced in their program, go straight to the burpees that I just showed, out in, and up. Either way, we're starting five, four, three, two, one. All right, first 15 seconds, I'm gonna demonstrate like this. And press up, all my beginners, this is what I want you all on right now, knee, yep. Or if you have to make accommodations, it'd be, be level one, you know, it's okay to be level one right now. Here you go, good. So any accommodations you have to make, whether you exercise a lot, or you just started your journey, you can still do this version. Do whichever one you want. Here we go, knee, knee, come up. All right, if you're doing this, keep doing this. Next half, we're gonna demonstrate the other method. Make sure you all stay on point. If you're doing this version, and jump up. Here we go. No matter which one you're doing, either way, you have 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep going. Perfect. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, shake that off. Take a deep breath. Inhale for two. Exhale for one. Inhale for two. Exhale for one. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring that jump rope back out, okay? We're gonna do something fancy with it though, okay? So we're jumping in place, looking forward, and moving just like this. Yeah, keep going. Roll those wrists forward, looking straight ahead. And keep rolling forward. Now let's do something different. Let's wrist backwards. All right? Let's go backwards. Yep. And again, you can step like this. Right? Step in place. Or you can get on your toes. Do what you have to get comfortable with. Either way, let's get some side swipes in. 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, 7, 6, 6, 5, 5, 4, 4, 3, 3, 2, Two, one, one, toss that to the side, all right? Toss that rope to the side, get the way out of there, and let's go to what's next, all right? We're looking forward now, okay? We're gonna keep our stomach tight, elbows up, and we're gonna bounce side to side, keep our stomach tight, okay? Rock side to side, you feel your abs getting nice and engaged, yeah? Exhale, each time, you go to one side at a time, and just keep bouncing. Bounce, you go good. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. All right. I have a new video out called Body of Boxing on YouTube. So let's do some, let's do some samples from it. We're gonna get heavily involved with it, okay? Roll your shoulders back, just roll our shoulders back. Three, two, one, and roll it forward. And boxing is great for muscular endurance. It's great for overall conditioning, the mind and the body. Doing boxing training exercises helps work on neuromuscular efficiency. We talk about that a little bit during my class. So the way your body responds to the demands that are imposed upon it. And it helps keep your mind sharp. So, we're going to learn some combinations or we're going to refresh on some combinations as some of us already know. So your hands up, get into that boxing position, and we're going to throw a one, two. One, two. One, two. A left hand, right hand. Left hand, right hand, boom, boom. One, two, just like that. One, two, good. One, two, one, two, good. One, two, one, 
two, one, two, and let's do it again. Except this time we're going to go into southpaw position. So push your right foot in front of you, and we're going to start with our right hand this time, okay? All right, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, keep going. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, again. One, two, one, two, one, two, one more time. One, two, all right. Shake the shoulders off a little bit. We're looking forward now. Let's rock side to side and stay loose. You can step side to side as well. So feel free to step side to side. Rock, toe to toe, step. Whichever one you can do. You do every moving for a good 15 more seconds. So 15 more seconds and we're moving. 12, count down, 11, count down with me. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's get to that boxing position again. Let's get some hooks in. So your hands up, three, four, just like that. Three, four, three, four, three, four. Again, three, four, three, four. One more time, three, four. We do it with one foot leg, we're gonna go ahead and do it with the other foot leg, okay? So put your right in front of you, and let's do it on this side. Three, four, three, four, come on, three, four. Go at your own pace, you can go aggressive, bang, bang, or go steady, do what you're comfortable with, that's what it's about, okay? Do whatever you're comfortable with. Here we go, and keep going, three, four, two more. Three, four, three, four, all right. Go back into boxing. Bounce, box, bounce, box. That's it, that's it. Here we go, good. So we go ahead and bounce side to side, step side to side, whichever one you're doing, whichever one you're comfortable with, but just keep moving either way. So you're either bouncing, step. It's up to you. Keep moving though, keep moving. Here you go. Five, five, four, four, three. Uppercuts next. One, one, okay, hands up. Uppercuts come from the bottom. Think about scooping, okay? Boom, boom, just like that. So five, six, five. Six, you go. Five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six, come on. Five, six, again. Five, six, five, six, five, six, one more. Five, six, all right, let's switch up. And let's put our right in front of us, okay? Hands up, and five, six, five, six, come on. Five, six, again, five, Six, keep going, five, six, come on, five, six, five, six, one more, five, six, and break, quick break. Okay, we got some people talking, let's see what's going on. Yeah, hey, okay, okay, all right. So, we're looking straight forward. Let's get that torso twist in again. I showed you what a one looks like, I showed you the two. I showed you a three and a four, I even showed you a five and a six, and look, we're going to freestyle right now. We're all going to go ahead and shadow box. We're gonna let our hands go. Challenge our muscular endurance. Challenge our stamina and improve it. That challenge creates change. That's what I always say. Challenge creates change. So that's how you wanna change, right? It's all about taking it day by day. Focus on the journey. Focus on that journey. Focus in on that journey. All right, and you'll get to your destination. Okay, so with that being said, let's put our hands up. Let's shadow box. Throw those hands up and throw whatever you want. Boom, boom, just let it go, let it go. See how I'm mixing up with different things? Just mix it up and do what you want. Don't hit anybody in your living room. That's the only thing I ask of you, that's it. But other than that, keep going. Boom, boom, you can throw the same thing three times if you want. You can duck a little bit, you can slip a little bit. Just mix it up, add your own twist to it, and keep going. In a second, well not in a second, I'll say in 30 seconds, we're all gonna be doing the same thing. So right now, do what you want. Freestyle, boom. Boom. And if you ever wanted to do some nice solid low shots, you can get low. Yeah, you can come up high. Just mix it up. All I'm doing is mixing it up right now. So do whatever you want to do right now with all those punches we just went through. Boom, boom, boom. There you go, good. And keep going, keep going. Now we're all going to meet up the uppercut roll. And number to the ceiling, and roll. And let's count together. I want you to count with me home. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Count like I can hear y'all. 5, 4, 3, 2, one, and break. Grab some of that water, some of that H2O. I'll see what people are saying right now. Let's see. Hey, yeah. Thank you. Thank all of you. Listen, like, when you appreciate this, you appreciate yourself. You value yourself. You support this, you're supporting yourself. All right. 
So now we're stepping side to side. We're looking forward. And now we're gonna go ahead and hit that speed bag, okay? Before we do that, let's loosen up a little bit. Let's go ahead and get a nice solid side to side with the neck, all right? To the right, to the left. Let's get a neck roll in now, so let's roll our necks. Let's roll it to the left, two times, one, two. Let's stop, then go ahead and roll it. There you go, good, one, two. All right, there you go. So let's go ahead and hit that speed bag, okay? Keep your stomach tight, work those shoulders, work those arms. Let's hit that speed bag. Look forward, you can rock side to side on your toes and step side to side, okay? And let it roll. And just roll, roll those hands, roll those hands. And keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, come on, keep digging. Seven, six, five, keep a step in the rock. Four, three, two, one, all right, change up, other side, okay? And step side to side, there you go, good. Good, keep going, keep going, good, good. Keep it up, keep it up, step in the rock in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go ahead and do both, okay? Bring the hands right in front of each other, one in the front, one in the back, and let's get it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and Punch off and break. Good stuff. Now, it's going to happen in a little bit. We're going to have a one minute break. We're going to have a one minute break where you just have a minute to either walk in place, jog in place, or take a break for one minute, okay? But until then, now we're going to go ahead and combine some of the movements we did. We're going to combine uppercuts and presses, okay? Let's get our shoulders involved, our arms, our core. Let's go ahead and press, press, uppercut. So, press, press, then uppercut. See that smooth transition? Press, press, upper, cut and get a more advanced. You all will press and you will stay low. You just go more aggressively. You will go fast, but control. See how I'm controlled? You want to go fast, I'm controlled. But go at your own pace. Go at your own pace. Either pace works. There's no right or wrong pace. It's your pace, it's your workout. It's for you today. You're dedicating this time to yourself. So I'm going to keep it that way. Just keep going, keep going. Good, good. Keep moving, keep moving. And the purpose of these, again, shoulders, arms, abs. So your stomach, your it's worked as well when you pivot and you turn into those different movements that we're doing here. It's full body. Everything's getting worked today. So people ask you what you work today in the gym. Well, at your home gym right now, tell them everything. It's that simple. Here we go. Five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay? So now we're going to go ahead and get our chair involved, okay? And one of two ways we're going to do this, okay? We're gonna sit down and stand up, or sit down and jump up. Whichever one you can do, all right? And the way you do it is just how I explain it. It really is that movement, but I want you to challenge yourself and try not to use your hands, because you wanna just use your core as that center of balance to get you up there. So just use your torso, your midsection, your body, keep your stomach tight to help you and assist you to stand up. It's the center of everything, so it's gonna get work in the midst of that. So I'll show you what I mean. So it either looks like this, your hands are to the side, you can ball your fist up, make pretend you're holding dumbbells, and you're just sitting there, standing up and locking. Now get your lower body involved too. Stand up, lock your lower body. Stand up, lock your lower body. Or you're gonna stand up and jump up. Sit down, stand up, and jump up. Do what you can. We're gonna start officially. Some of you all got some reps in, so it'll be extra reps. Some of you put all the weight in to start. So we're gonna start officially in five, four, three, Two, one, we're going to do the first half for the beginners. Next half, we're going to do the more advanced version. There you go, stand and lock. And if you want to do advanced for the jump, do advanced for the jump. Or if you want to do what I'm doing, first half beginner, next half advanced, just do what you can. Here we go, keep going. Good, good, good. All right, we're getting through the halfway mark. We're getting through the halfway mark. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch up. You can stay the same and switch up. It's up to you. Boom. There you go, good, good, good. Keep going. There you go. Keep it up, keep going, keep going. Get those legs, that core, everything, everything you feel right now. Keep going, keep going. Four, three, two, and one more. Keep you go. Cool. Now let's get loose and shake our legs off a little bit, okay? Let's get some frog legs in. And you can use your chair for this as well. All right? And after we do these frog legs, we're going to take a one minute rest. I want to see what people have been saying. And yeah, definitely want to grab some water after this too. So frog legs look like this. You lift up, open up, and drop. 
lift up, open up, and drop. If you need your chair there, just in case you have to use it as assistance, feel free to use it as assistance, okay? But either way, just get that motion in. Check this out. You can even walk. If you're in your living room, you have space, you can walk while you're doing it. And then say you want to walk and you run out of space, turn right back around, then just go ahead and walk toward the other direction. Or you can stay in place, whichever works for you. And that chair is there too, in case you need it. Three, here you go. Three, come on. Two, two, one, one. All right, we're gonna take a one minute refresher. We're gonna decompress really quick. You can step side to side and move in place and jog. If you feel like you wanna keep moving, keep moving. If you wanna take advantage of this rest, take advantage of this rest. I wanna see what people been saying. See what's going on here. You see? Good. Oh yeah, of course. Of course, absolutely. 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 Definitely. That's what we're here to do, help each other. Gotta spread some good right now. There's a lot of confusion and things going on, so we all can spread all the good we can. There's a lot of people that are getting exposed to their talents in a good way and helping people. When you know that energy comes back to you when you help others, you know, it comes back. It comes back. And we don't do it for that. Everybody here who can relate to that, can attest to that, you know, we do good things because, you know, it's just for the sake of doing good things. But things are a lot smoother that way. And we're gonna make it through this. We're gonna make it through this. We're definitely gonna make it through this. All right, stay safe, stay sanitized, and please stay home. Please stay home. Only go out for the essentials. Only go out for the essentials. Take those warnings very, very seriously. Take them very seriously. I encourage everybody to do so. All right, so we're looking straight, shaking our legs off, and we're gonna start again in 20 seconds. We got a good 20 seconds left, and then we're gonna go ahead and start the next phase. And we also have cool down stretches too, that's another thing we have. So now we're stepping side to side, and just waiting to start again, okay? We're going to start with squats. Then we're gonna break, then we're doing punch squats. And I'll show you what's next after that, okay? Let's take it exercise by exercise. All right, we're gonna start with some squats, all right? And the way you're going to do these, I'll show you from the side, dude. I'll show you from the side profile so you can see the depth, the different levels of depth. If you're looking forward to doing a squat, your arms stay out the whole time as well. If you're looking forward to doing a squat, with your arms out, this is level one, where you sit back and squeeze. So say you have some things going on with your knees right now, whatever your situation is. This is less tension on the knees. You just sit back and squeeze, and it's less tension on the knees. <laughs> All right, so if you want to go lower, just go lower. You can come up. Either way, we're going to start officially in five, 30 seconds, by the way. We're doing 30 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, that the one looks like this. It's not right based, it's time based. So it's your own pace. Yep, whatever you're doing counts. You don't get nothing out of doing something. Then go ahead and go lower if you want. I'm alternating between two levels, you can see, so everybody's accommodated. I'm working with everybody, we're a team, so let's get it. Here you go. You only got 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and all right. Shake your legs off. Now we're doing punch squats. Same thing as far as the restriction of movement. If you're doing level one, you want to go just like this. Sit back, come up, one, two. Level two, sit back deep, come up, one, two. Same movement at the top, the bottom is a different training factor. That's it. All right, so we're looking forward. Hands up, and let's get it. All right, one, two, sit back, one, two, sit back. This is level one. Level two is, this is what y'all look like. Here we go. We just keep going. There you go. Keep the light. We're moving. I'm right there with each of y'all. I'm doing each variation. Do what you can. And it's just somewhere in the middle, you know? Call it like a one and a half, whatever you want to call it. You know, maximum depth. Or somewhere in the middle. That works too. Just go as deep as you can without any discomfort on the knees, okay? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and. One, shake those shoulders off. Now we're in the shoulder roll again. Same thing we did earlier, you know, punching adds a lot of that tension, you know? It releases a lot of tension, 
Put your ass and tension to the shoulders because we're being used. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna roll our shoulders really quick. And one, two, three. Let's go back with them. Backwards. Three, two, one. Let's get some arm swings in. So we're gonna go ahead and swing side to side. Go with your own pace. Exhale, this is great for cardio as well, too, that full body movement. Yeah, you can notice we're getting a good balance of aerobics in, some strength and conditioning, elements of balance, working your mind, having you think when you're throwing those punches, just an overall balanced workout, more complete you, uncover you, that's it. Keep going, keep going, three, three, two, two, one, one. All right, so now what's gonna happen, right? We're gonna go side to side, we're gonna duck, and we're gonna punch. Hands up, duck, punch, that's it. Keep going. Keep going. Another element from my body of boxing video that I just released on YouTube. So that's something else you all can do. Look for A, B, and B, beginners only body of boxing on YouTube. That's something else you can do on the days you don't see me here. Here we go. And keep going. Good. Four, four. As a matter of fact, I think I'll put a link on the page. I'll share a link on the page on my YouTube channel. I'll put that support this week. Three, three, two, two, one. One, all right, let's get another good solid twist and a deeper torso twist up. We're going to now pivot our back foot. All right, so we're gonna look straight ahead, elbows bent, let's slowly twist. And when you twist, that back foot pivots, the front foot stays still. So you wanna shift between which foot is the front foot, but just know the foot that's behind you where you left off at is going to twist and go to a level you're comfortable with. You don't have to go so deep. You can be right here, and that's fine. Whatever's comfortable for you. Stretch that knee, hip, core, lower back, shoulders. We're going to do three more on each side. Go at your own pace. Three. There you go. Three. There we go. Two. There you go. Two. And. Seconds. If you're doing this, 
you lift your legs up a total of four times. So each side twice, right? But I'll let you on the switch. If you're doing level two planks, you're holding yourself diagonally up there in your chair, toes back, chin tucked in. In level three, no chair whatsoever, all brim, chin tucked in. All right? So pick whichever one you're going to do, okay? Pick whichever one you're going to do. All right. So you're going to do a level one, which is sitting down, level two with your forearms on the chair, or level three, you're on the ground completely, okay? All right, for some of the beginners, I'll, I'll just sit down for the first 20 seconds, I'll sit down. For the last 20, I'll show the different variations. I'll do all three variations, watch how I do this. But, <laughs> you know, make sure you pick the one that you're comfortable with, okay? So, those of us in our chairs right now, hands behind your head, and if you're going into your plank position, pick your position now. We're going to go ahead, lift our leg up, and we're going to count for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six. Every time you breathe out, blow up. Five, four, three, two, one. If you're in a plank position, stay there. If you're seated, lift your leg up and hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. If you're seated, switch legs again, hold it out. And if you're doing this, I'm counting with y'all now. Hold that for a good 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Switch legs one last time. If you're on the ground, I'll count with y'all now. And tuck the chin. We're going to hold that for a good 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and break. Good. So now you see it's doable. You're targeting the same muscle groups no matter which level you're at, okay? No matter which level you're at, you can target those muscle groups. Now we're going to go ahead. And we're going to get some nice, solid high knees in, okay? We're going to look forward, and we're twisting into our opposite knee, okay? So we're twisting toward the opposite knee. And we pick our elbows up. And level one, this is level one and level two. So level one looks like this. Level two, you're bouncing your toes. So those of you can move like that, move like that. Here we go, those of us that have to stay flat. Stay flat. Keep away. Keep going. We got a good 20 seconds left. Here we go. We'll count down now from eight. Eight. Here we go. Seven. Seven. More. Six. Six. Five. Five. Now which one you going for? Four. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. One. Break. And grab some water. And I'll practice when I reach and grab some water myself. All right. Pick that bottom up. Get a good sip in. Put it right back down. Get right back to it. Y'all yeah, get a lot of love on here. That's one thing I noticed. You know, the views go up for every video after it's reposted right on the page. So it's a good community you all have going. Very effective. I'm glad to see it's working well. It's been working well for many years, so that's great. Fantastic. Anyway, let's go right back to what we're doing. We'll get right back to our good exercise that we have here today. And we're doing drop squats now. This is the thing. We're starting at three. We're working our way up to seven. But we're counting down at the same time. So follow me on this. I know that's a lot. It's a lot to take in. It's a lot to digest. So just follow me. I'll lead you. All right. Have your hands under your chin. We're going to start by dropping three levels. Drop as low as you can, piece by piece. Watch this. So go as low as you personally can. It might be a little bit higher than me. It might be, you know, the same level as me. So let's see. Have your hands under your chin. And we're going to drop down. Three, two, one. And hold it. Hold it. Three, two, one. You'll pick up the pattern. Go up tall. Drop down for four, we're going up to seven. Four, three, two, one, and hold it for four, three, two, one. That hold at the bottom is called an isometric contraction. That's it, so you have your hands up your chin. Now let's drop again. Five, four, three, two. Hold it still, you're challenging those muscle fibers to get stronger and improve. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, six. More six right now, one, seven, let's get it. Six, five, four, Three, two, one, and hold it for six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on, they do it. I know some of y'all are feeling. It. I know, I know. Now seven, last one. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Quick break. Shake the legs off. Get a nice good toe tap in. Get a nice good toe tap in. Keep toe tapping. I'm toe tapping. I'm gonna read this comment. <laughs> <laughs> Keep toe tapping up. 
<laughs> okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all all on it. Here we go. Here we go. It's just like we're at the barn. Like, you know, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy what the internet can do. All right. So let's keep those toe tabs going. There you go. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and step side to side. We wanna swing our arm up. We're gonna swing and scoop, all right? I'll show you what I mean. Swing that foot over and scoop the arm up. So left, right, keep going. It's like using your arm to pull that leg in. It's like a string is pulling that leg, that opposite leg with your arm, see what I mean? Boom, pull it in, keep going. Good, keep going, side to side. There you go, good. Three, and if you have to do level one, it looks more like this. Go a little bit calmer, stand a little taller, right? The deep one is more advanced. Three, three, two, two, one, one. Now we're doing side chops. Shake the legs off. We're gonna go side to side, okay? Level one looks like this. One, two, left. One, two, see how I'm lifting my foot up? One, two, left. One, two, right. One, two, left. One, two, right. That's level one, left. One, two, right. Level two is one, two, left. One, two, right. One, two, same thing. Except you're lifting up higher and your feet are spread out. Wider, okay? So it's wider and higher. Boom. So do whichever you can. And the clock's starting officially. The clock's starting officially. Keep going. Right, keep going. Two, left. Here we go. One, two, right. Keep going. Left, come on. Two, right. Come on, y'all. Look. Now we're ready to do some cool down exercises. And then that's going to lead to our stretching, okay? We're almost there. Keep moving, keep moving. Good, five, five, come on, four, four, come on, three, three, come on, two, two, one, one. And shake your legs off. Let's get some toe taps in again, those toe taps in. Now, we're gonna go ahead and tap. Let's lean side to side. Let's loosen up our lower back a little bit, okay? Let's get some active stretching in. Let's get some active stretching in. Some midway stretching in before we transition to the cool down, which will then lead to the stretches, okay? All right. Look forward. There you go. And we're gonna go ahead and lean to one side. We're looking straight ahead. Right hand goes to that left knee. Left hand goes to the right knee. And the other hand sits there and it waits its turn before you switch. Over the top, over the top, that's it. Over the top, here we go. Over the top, three, come up, three. That's gonna stretch the back of your top leg, the hamstrings, it's gonna stretch the lower back. Two, and one, one. Now we're gonna do something called bird dogs. One variation involves you being on the ground, so I hope you all have some comfortable carpet or maybe a yoga mat. If not, it's still doable on a hardwood floor. So you'll be fine, you'll be fine. This is not that intense of an exercise. There's not a lot of compound, hard, strong movement there. But if you don't want to do it on your floor, this is how you do it in your seat. It'll work in balance, your core strength, all the above that I just mentioned. Okay, so we're looking forward. And if you're in your seat, it's this simple. Left leg goes out, right hand goes out. Just like this. And you keep your stomach tight. You're gonna hold that for three, two, one. Then you're gonna drop. Then you're gonna go to the other side. Hold it out, opposite hand, opposite foot. Toe is to the ceiling. Fingertips are straight. Three, two, one, and drop. Then the other side, and so forth, and so on. You're doing five reps. Every two count is one. Now, if you're on the ground, very similar. Some of us are familiar with bird dogs. There's different ways to do it, but the way we're doing it today, you'll be on all fours, and it will follow that same principle. Opposite hand, opposite leg, except you're kicking back. So, I will look down to the ground, and I will extend, and hold it for three, two, one. Bring it right back in, and extend, and hold it for three, two, one. Keep my stomach tight, okay? So, this is what I'll do, okay? I'll do the first three reps with my beginners, I'll do the last two on the ground. Every two count is one, okay? So look straight ahead. If you're not going on the ground, follow along with me. If you are on the ground, do what I just did on the ground, all right? And begin. Opposite leg, opposite hand. Stomach tight. Three, two, one. Drop down. Here we go. Three, two, one. Drop down. That's one. 
three, two, one, drop dead. Three, two, one, drop dead. That's two. Three, two, one, drop down. Three, two, one, drop down. That's three. And extend the opposite now. And three, two, one, drop down. Three, two, one, drop down. That's four. Here we go. Three, two, one, drop down. And three, two, one, drop down. That's five. No matter which level you did. All right, now you're going to stand back up whether you're on the ground or seated. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to flick our heels back. And now, let's go ahead and transition to some heel taps. So have your hand right there waving. The wider you go, the tougher it is. Now you have to kick, we can keep it close. And you don't even have to necessarily touch your fingertips. If you're more comfortable flicking back toward the opposite hand, that works too. So do whichever one you can. Level one, right here. Level two. Right here, level three, going all the way up. Just do it 20 10, okay? Either way, we're gonna hold it for five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. All right, tap side to side, and four, tap side to side, tap side to side, that's it, that's it. Now we're gonna go ahead and do some marches, okay? Look forward, and opposite knee, opposite hand. Just like that. Nice, steady, solid march. We're going cool down exercises now because we're getting ready to go ahead and stretch. Here you go. Keep going. Good. Keep holding that out. Keep holding that out. We're going to go back to arm swings again pretty soon, okay? Then we're going to also get some punches in, so follow our lead. Cool down stretches. Same level for everybody for the most part. Only difference would be if you're doing level one, you don't have to pick it up this time. If you're more comfortable doing it like this, do it like this. If you go high, go high. All right, either way, just keep moving, keep moving. Let's get those arm swings in again. Three, three, two, two, the legs wide or one. One, start swinging. Swing side to side, just swing, swing. Go at your own pace. You can go as limited as this, doesn't matter. We're cooling down now, dropping that heart rate down now. We're elevating from the jump, now it's about cooling down. That's why I specialize in body up and cool down. That's it, now we're cooling down, that's it. Keep going, keep going, five, five, four, cool down movement now, cool down movement, cool down movement, two, two, one, one. All right, hands up, let's look to our left and punch with our right hand, okay? And we'll go just like this, 10, nine, nice and steady, nice and slow, eight, we're cool, cooling down, seven, six, five, exhale each punch, four, three, two, one, both of you all had your family members involved in this too. That's pretty uh, pretty cool. You had the opportunity to do some now. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and twist. Ten, nine, opposite side. Eight, seven, opposite hand. Four, six, five, four, three, two, one. Handless high knees. Working your core, cooling down. Put your hands down to the side. Pick up one knee at a time. And the higher you go, the tougher it is. But go to the height you feel with. You can be down here, we're cooling down. Yep, just keep moving. But if you want to go higher, go high. By all means, reach for it, reach for it. But just do what you can. Keep moving. Good, good. We're counting down from 10 reps on each side. 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, 7, keep moving. 6, 6, 5, 5, 4, 4, Three, three, two, two, one, one. All right. So now we're moving forward. Then we're going to go ahead and get some toe taps in. Toe taps. Then we're going to Here we go. Just tap there. Tap. Straight ahead. Five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to twist and duck down. Twist and duck down. Twist. Down, twist, go down, twist, go down, twist, go down, that's it, twist, go down, come on, twist, go down, twist, go down, that's it, three, come on, three, good, two, two, one, one, now we're just gonna sit low, 
45 in the angle. Hold that for three, two, one. Then we're gonna come up. We're not going too low, going too low. Then come up. Three, two, one. One more. Sit back and sit low. Three, two, one. Then come up. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna go ahead and do a lunge stretch. And after this, we're all gonna have a seat and stretch in our seats. So we're looking forward and bring your feet in close. We're gonna lunge to one side. Pick the left or the right. It does not matter which side you start with. And we're gonna step, bend the front leg, that front leg, extend the back leg to a depth you're comfortable with. It could be right here. Or it could be right here. It's up to you what you can do, right? Just go where you're comfortable at. And we'll hold it for a good 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. And change it. Opposite side. Same thing. 20, 19. Then next time, man. Next time, we go. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, leg straight, right? So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna reach forward, all right? Go as far as you personally can, okay? You can reach down, touch the ground, you can reach down and have your fingertips on the ground, or you can just lean forward like this. This works too. Stretching your lower back, stretching your hamstrings, the entire lower body as well. You wanna hold that for a good 10, nine, eight, you'll be here, seven, six, here, or here, five, four, we'll go where you're comfortable, three, two, and one, bring those feet back in. Now we're all going to have a seat, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and have a seat. And you can bring your water with you. There's nothing wrong with sitting while you're, you know, sitting, sitting, sitting. <laughs> I guess we'll call it that. There we go. All right, I just hope it's water. No, I'm playing. All right. <laughs> all right, so good, this is what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna look forward. And we're going to put our heel right there on the opposite foot, or we're going to put our heel on the opposite knee, okay? Either way, just sit up, look straight, and just hold that position, okay? And what we're doing now, we're stretching our outer thigh, our hip, our entire lower body, and just hold this position. So do what's comfortable, either up here on your knee, or you can put it on the opposite foot like I previously demonstrated. Now we're officially starting to count for 20 seconds. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and change up. Look forward and put it up on there. Look straight. And hold it up. Hold it for a good 20 seconds. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and put our heel on the ground, toe to the ceiling. And we're gonna go ahead and reach forward. And you're reaching for your knee, shin, or your toe. Knee will be right here, shin will be right here, toe will be right here. Stretching your hamstring, your calf, your lower back, your arms, shoulders. Hold that out for a good, we'll do 20 as well. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. Go where you're comfortable. It shouldn't be too much of a tension, just enough. So if this is too much tension, go higher. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Switch up. Twenty on the opposite side. Then. So look forward. Deep go. Nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, slide back, here we go. All right, now you're gonna go ahead and 
twist to one side, torso twist, stretching our core, lower back, hips, maybe in that chair, but just turn around and have your knees forward, and you're going to hold that for a good 20 seconds to one, 19, 18, 17, I'll count for the last 10, I'll count my head until then, here we go, almost, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Four, three, two, one. Last one. 
Then it extends. Then extend. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's get a nice thorough calf stretch, right? So let's go ahead and we're gonna put our toe up on this first tier. Well, right here on the first tier of your wall, so the lowest part of your wall. You can get your toe on. See how my toe is up on the wall, my heels on the ground. And you reach forward and you hold it out, look straight. We're gonna hold that for a good 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Eight, lock that front leading leg. You should feel a nice tension in your lower calf here, right? Three, two. All right, let's switch sides. You're right, wherever you need your toe at. We all have walls, so you can get it somewhere. <laughs> so that's really good. 10, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, that was looking straight ahead. A couple more stretches, a couple more. Let's inhale through our nose and go around. And exhale through your mouth when you come down. So two more of those. Inhale, exhale, one more. Inhale, then exhale. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead, put our feet together. Cross our arms over, track our shoulders back. We're gonna hold that for a good 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we're going to do the most important stretch. You're gonna take your hands, open them up. You're gonna start the hands, start up there. That's it. Yeah. I said, everybody logged in, we got it done. Let me get back at y'all in those comments. There we go. Water all day long, okay? Thanks, signing off until next week. Good, good. All right, I'll see you all next week. Take care, blessings, stay safe.